In this video, we'll talk about the design case studies. Now, especially in the UI UX and the web design industry, there seems to be a lot of buzz around the case studies. You might be wondering if they are needed in your portfolio in order to land a high ticket client. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you the answer, but before we do that, I'm going to clarify what I refer to as a case study. To put it in simple terms, a case study is a page dedicated to a project where you explain that project in further detail. So you would talk about uh, things uh, such as uh, the target market, the niche objective, the industry, and uh, the entire process from start to finish. So on average, they can be anywhere between uh, 500 to 2,500 words, uh, and they might include uh, a lot of imagery. So in my personal view, it's uh, almost like an expanded uh, portfolio item, meaning that uh, a normal portfolio item maybe would have uh, a series of images and uh, maybe one or two paragraphs uh, describing the project from a high level, but the case study goes much more in depth. Now, in my personal opinion, case studies are great uh, and for one main reason, and that is that uh, you explain the entire process and as a reader, you already understand what went on in the process and you can analyze the problem solving skill of that individual. You also have more insider and in-depth knowledge about that specific project uh, and essentially you have more contextual information about how that designer usually goes about approaching a certain type of projects. Now, that being said, I think that design case studies are great, but they're not compulsory, meaning that they're something which are optional. And I myself, I never created a design case study. It's always something that I had on my mind in my to-do list but uh, I never really created a case study and still I managed to land over 40 clients and uh, have a six-figure business. Now, why did I manage to achieve these results without case studies? Well, the answer is really simple because the portfolio is only a stimulus for the client or the potential client to hop on a call with you. And then during the call, they would ask me all sorts of questions in order to understand my process. And I would explain to them even project by project what, would, uh, what was the process involved. So I almost gave a live case study during the interview. So essentially a case study can uh, enable the client to actually analyze uh, your problem solving skills even before the interview but if you hop on an interview, you can essentially uh, give them more insights as to the specific details of a project. So the choice is yours, really. If you want to create a case study, that's great. If you don't want to, that's also okay. And uh, in my opinion, you shouldn't necessarily have like a lot of case studies, even one or two case studies, but really well done are going to make a great impact. So don't think that you need like 10 or 20 case studies in your portfolio item and you can keep your portfolio items for the most part um, just the basic and maybe add one or two case studies and that would be pretty much it, especially because from the hiring manager's position, they're not going to read a whole lot of really in-depth articles. So they're likely going to have so many applications for a project or especially a job that they won't really have the time. So just keep it short and focus on quality.